Ah, but the tale of any grand endeavor is as much about fragility as it is about might. Here, we find Trump media and truth so short, like a fortress seemingly impregnable, yet revealing fractures upon closer examination. For all its bravado, this company finds itself precariously balanced, tethered to a figure and a brand that, while powerful, is equally divisive. In truth, Truth Social's very identity is bound up in the personality and the personality and the politics of its founder. A strength in moments of support, but a profound vulnerability when faced with public backlash. This reliance on a singular image not only limits its flexibility, but also heightens the volatility of its reputation, making the platform's fate closely tied to the ever-shifting sands of public perception surrounding its namesake. Then there is the issue of financial uncertainty, a weakness that any towering institution would rather not reveal. While Trump media has an undeniably strong appeal within a defined demographic, this doesn't easily translate into diversified revenue streams or a broadly appealing financial foundation. A significant amount of its early traction comes from this highly concentrated user base. And without substantial advertising appeal outside of its niche, financial growth is constrained. In the marketplace, where scale and diversification are cornerstones of resilience, this limited appeal casts a shadow over the company's future. Truth Social's niche may be loyal, but loyalty alone cannot always ensure profitability, particularly in an industry where advertisers seek broad, demographically diverse audiences. The dependence on this audience, while fiercely loyal, is, in itself, a double-edged sword. For a company to thrive, it must either broaden its reach or find a way to monetize deeply from within its existing user base. Truth Social, however, has found itself largely isolated, defined by a brand that could repel as many as it attracts. This segmentation means that scaling beyond its current reach becomes a challenge. Without drawing in a more diverse audience, it risks becoming a closed ecosystem, hemmed in by its own limitations. In this respect, Truth Social's market reach is more limited than it might appear, and such a narrow audience focus raises questions about its ability to endure or expand in the long run. The structural fragility of Trump Media's leadership is yet another chink in its armor. The company's upper echelons, while influential, have faced scrutiny over their stability and strategic clarity. In the tech industry, especially one as volatile as social media, leadership cohesion is vital. Without it, a company risks directionless decision-making or, worse, an over-reliance on knee-jerk reactions to market and media pressures. Such instability becomes more apparent as challenges mount, where the lack of a unified, adaptable strategy can leave the organization vulnerable to rapid changes in the market and regulatory landscapes. And let us not forget that any leadership changes, or perceived wobbles, invite scrutiny, destabilizing the user and investor base alike. Now, to consider the technical structure, while Truth Social may have crafted a platform prepared for high traffic, technical resilience is far from the same as technical innovation. In a world dominated by algorithms, engagement tools, and rapidly advancing AAI, Truth Social has yet to make notable strides in keeping pace with more technologically agile competitors. As an alternative platform, it faces the constant challenge of catching up with mainstream giants who are consistently rolling out new features, optimized algorithms, and seamless integrations. Truth Social's platform, while operationally stable, lacks the same degree of innovation and adaptation, a gap that risks alienating users accustomed to state-of-the-art experiences elsewhere. Finally, one of its most subtle yet pervasive weaknesses is its image within the advertising world. Many major advertisers are cautious, sometimes outright unwilling, to align themselves with highly polarized brands. This reluctance severely limits Truth Social's advertising potential, forcing it to rely on a smaller pool of brands willing to take on the risk of associating with its platform. This creates a bottleneck, stymieing revenue growth and limiting the scale of partnerships that could otherwise provide substantial financial, financial and brand support. In an industry where advertising often serves as the lifeblood of revenue, this inability to attract diverse advertisers becomes a liability that may deepen as the platform grows. Thus, 
for all the fortress-like qualities Trump media aims to embody, it finds itself facing vulnerabilities that run deep. A reliance on a single identity, a concentrated audience, financial and operational constraints, leadership instability, and the skepticism of advertisers. Each of these elements presents a formidable challenge, turning what could be a monolithic entity into something more fragile, its foundation susceptible to shifts in public opinion, market trends, and regulatory scrutiny. Like any grand structure, Truth Social stands as a testament to both bold ambition and the fine line between strength and weakness.